And he's like, he's like, here, just watch a better Mark player and how he does it. And like how he handles him. He's like, okay, I'll watch this one. He's like, oh, who's bad? I beat him. All right, so we've got Chum versus Sly Pig. Chum, uh, one of the best players on 717. He, uh, he did pretty well teaming together. He was teaming with his brother, so. Do you know what place they got? Um, I want to say fourth or fifth or seventh. Not bad. It's a pretty large range. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Um, looking like Sly Pig has got the, the good laser control. Um, so I don't know if, if anybody who's going to be watching this video cares about the, uh, the AEX tradition, but last AEX, this happened in round one pools, the Smash, uh, because Sly Pig was unseated, and it was one of the most hyped things I've ever seen in a Smash tournament. Uh, literally the entire crowd of people, of like 50 people, was around this random little non-stream setup, like screaming at them. And uh, Slappy X ended up winning. So we'll see if that's going to repeat itself or if Chum's going to take it this time. Because that was definitely an upset when it happened. Uh, I don't know if Slappy has, you know, gotten a lot better since then or not. And uh, Chum has continued to impress me. I, I played him in the last day. I got it. Yeah, he's really good. Uh, I know, I think within the last five or six months, he's actually completely dropped Puff. Uh, it's just a Mark main now. Uh, so we're not going to see any counterpicking character wise. Just straight up Marth Falco, assuming that uh, Sly Pig doesn't play anyone else. Yeah, the Marth, I didn't know that he used to play Puff. No, uh -huh. I've only played as Marth, and obviously working out really well. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, this could be big. It's that forward smash. I feel like it ended the combo a little bit early there, uh, especially not getting the tipper. I, I feel but. like he's one of those marks that's like so scary to try to approach. He's just gonna, like wave dash or dash dance, just like he did there. Dash dance away from your hitbox and come back and for it. Exactly. Very like spacing oriented kind of Marth player, which is how it should be. Marth's a spacing oriented character. There are some people that you, like they, you know, they dash dance away, and you just gotta learn that, and then you know, overshoot your grab or whatever. To go yeah. Far. But see, then the big mix-up game is yeah. you overshoot right into their stuff. Sometimes, you know, it's all about that rock paper scissors game of who's gonna be where doing what. People like Chum and Stango, it feels like that works exactly once, and then they just yeah stare into your soul like <laughs> and never it works. Again. Yep. Read you like you're a library. <laughs> I feel like that forward smash might have been a mistake. Kind of swinging at nothing there. Um, but still a, a close game. Sly Pig in the lead again. Sly Pig got like, such a nice jab to stuff Chum's grab. It's actually really smart. I've never seen a Baku do that. I mean, it could have been crouch canceled and punished, but Chum just wasn't ready for it. It's like one neutral and was going in for a grab. Yeah, for sure. Two frame grab. Ooh. Kind of awkward fare there. Um, I don't know, I mean, this matchup is very volatile, right? These characters kind of destroy each other in the Punish game, so this is still by no means Sly Pig's game, uh, but it does have the advantage. Ooh, good catch. Yeah, and he got that, like, surprising hitbox where the forward smash kind of starts out low and behind Marth uh, for that real juicy tipper. Very nice uh, reaction to Chum, to Chum's attempt to slide pick, just with the get-up attack sometimes being the best option. He got from the ledge. He, uh, had, he hasn't been covering ledge. And actually, that's something that starts to happen at very high percents, is that uh, the first hit of Mars in there just kind of pops them out uh, and doesn't connect in the second hit. And that only gets worse when you add Smash DI into the mix. Uh, I couldn't quite tell if Sly Pig Smash DI that or not, but uh, it did miss. Uh, didn't kill him. Um, oh, that wave land. Yeah, that is super good. Oh, this is a really great combo, just in general. Um, for all intents and purposes, this is basically even. Um, with Chum in the lead now. This is... That was almost like a 0-80 combo. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, these sets are always fun to watch, man. Is it possible that this whole set will be played on the battlefield? Uh, I can see it. This is the East Coast after all. 
Oh. Oh, solid roll there. It's going right past that F smash. One more percent in that and that drill crap or drill to down smash will work. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Bait he baited him to roll in. And like had the spacing on the aerial to fade back to the position to punish. Nice down tilt. Good down tilt. Good down tilt. Chum is cognizant of the fact that he hasn't been covering Wedge and predicted that Sly Pig would take that time to capitalize on it. Ooh, interesting getup attack. Uh, Mars getup attack from the ledge not being very good in terms of actually like using the hitbox. Um, this is something really weird about it. Another one of those crazy melee facts is that the hitbox of Mars sword from that getup attack is partially in the wrong part of the Z-axis. So oh. like there is a hitbox, but it just doesn't work a lot of the times. Like Yoshi's dash grab? Uh yeah, actually exactly like that. Like there's um you can see I saw a, a picture once where it's like you can see the sword going up to the platform on Yoshi's, like visually, but it just isn't there because it's back in the Z axis. That's pretty yeah. I'm glad one of the good players has, or good characters has that. Yeah, for real. You know what character has no Z-axis in Mr. Game Watch? Yeah, he is the Z-axis. <laughs> uh, missing that Nair, though, I feel like uh, Slapping's kind of at that Marth percent where it's really hard for Marth to get... Ooh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Unfortunate stall to mess up. It's a really bad spot for a slide peg, of course, and he ended up getting killed. And you, like, you can't wall ride on this stage. So yeah, it even true. Easier. Yeah. Not to, like, a counter won't cut, cover every option anyway. It makes it even easier. Oh, very nice space to the board there. And this combo is exactly what Chum needed to get. This kind of, like, definitive extend my lead kind of thing. Unfortunately, not being able to get a good finisher on that combo, but still building all that percent is not enough. Yeah, if he gets exactly there, it is, and now he's pretty much lapped Sly Pig. Double shines? Yeah. And I like that he double shines and just really cleanly retreats to the platform, recognizing that it's dangerous to stay in more scrap range that long. Oh, Did solid. Did you a crowd start to form behind this game? Is it happening? I see, uh, uh, yeah, I see some I see people. I eight people there. Yeah. <laughs> Shoutouts to MC Orange. Slug, of course. We know he, we know he does. Yeah, yeah. No one loves to see the brother fail more. <laughs> <laughs> they got a little rivalry so we going got on. Stadium as our game three. Yeah. You think this is a better stage for Falco? It's hard to say. It's actually like a pretty controversial thing. I know that Pew Pew U has started counterpicking the stage versus Spaces recently. Um, but I don't think it's really an agreed upon thing. Personally speaking, I think that this part of the stage, the normal transformation, is quite good for Marth, but the transformations are really bad, so it kind of evens out. Especially against Fox. Like, Falco isn't quite as good on transformations as Fox is. Um, but, yeah. I said it's a fine counter pick. This is going to be an edge guard. Good stuff. Just roll up, and that's going to be it. Going to tie it up at three stocks apiece, third game. I have not seen any power shielding from Chum yet. Uh, it's something that Marth is known for, is being able to power shield in the same way that Cheat can, with the uh, the shield kind of coming up over the ducking Marth body. Absolutely beautiful affairs from Chum, getting a huge punish off of getting Sly Pig on the platform the same time. Uh, uh, that's why the Marth yeah. won this day. That's a, it's a, probably a mistake, but still an almost very interesting combo from Sly Pig, getting that side B out of shield to punish forward smash. Marth is very vulnerable to being shined off the yeah. Honestly, I would advise the chum just kind of stay down there, uh, not oh, try to approach Sly Pig right now. Something interesting about uh, when there's slopes, you can, you can wave dash like straight to the left or straight to the right and get a wave dash that's longer than the longest possible wave dash on the right now. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. You just wave dash straight into the slopes. Huh. Good DI from Chum. Probably, oh no, like, nice good back air read from Sly Pig. Just barely taking that lead. Very close set. Ooh. Oh, 
not the get the upbeat, but not the one you wanted. Yeah, and you could tell that Sly Pig was not expecting that at all. Um, uh, there we go. Good option coverage. Whoa, not take it. Insanely good DI for Sly Pig. Uh, but the second up, he's going to do it. And only 4%, essentially even right now. Got one laser of extra credit from that great DI. Yeah. <laughs> And Sly Pig is, is, is fading back a lot in the neutral, and, and Chum is like going in with a grab, and you know, like, he needs to, to take a deep breath and realize that he's getting punished again and again, grabbing where Sly Pig is. Yeah. Uh, I think definitely uh, Sly Pig kind of tried to jump and do all that down so combo, which is why he sort of just fell down there. Um, giving Chum a solid lead, and this is looking real good for Chum. If he can get this combo despite the transformation, Yeah, with the uh, dare, and that's it. it. That's it. Good stuff to Chum. He's uh, taking the run back from the last AEX. Maybe this will be a yearly thing. Who knows?